Hello and welcome to Spirit of Life. I'm Morella Rich. Today our guest is Father Peter Forwerder, a Catholic priest in Victoria, and we'll be discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's message from Medjugorje of the 2nd of October 2018. Welcome to the program, Father. Thank you, Morella. It's good to blessing, have you here. <laughs> a blessing to be here. Yeah. I'll, um, I'll start by reading Our Lady's message and then we can just chat about it. Yes. Our Lady said on the 2nd of October, Dear children, I am calling you to be courageous and to not grow weary because even the smallest good, the smallest sign of love conquers evil, which is all the more visible. My children, listen to me so that good may overcome, so that you may come to know the love of my son. This is the greatest happiness the hands of my son that embrace, of him who loves the soul, of him who has given himself for you and is always giving himself anew in the Eucharist, of him who has the words of eternal life, to come to know his love, to follow in his footsteps, means to have a wealth of spirituality. This is the wealth which gives you, which gives good feelings and sees love and goodness everywhere. Apostles of my love, my children, be like the rays of the sun, which the warmth of my son's love warm everyone around them. My children, the world needs apostles of love. The world needs much prayer, but prayer spoken with the heart and the soul and not only pronounced with the lips. My children long for holiness, but in humility, in the humility which permits my son to do that which he desires through you. My children, your prayers, your words, thoughts, and actions. All of this either opens or closes the doors to the kingdom of heaven for you. My son showed you the way and gave you hope. And I am consoling and encouraging you because my children, I had come to know my pain, but I had faith and hope. Now I have the rewards of life in the kingdom of my son. Therefore, listen to, my, less, listen to me, have courage and do not grow weary. Thank you. So, Father, well, that's a beautiful message, isn't it? Is it? In, encouraging, yeah. very encouraging. Yeah. I'll start with the first message and you can tell us what you think. Dear children, I'm calling you to be courageous and to not grow weary because even the smallest good, the smallest sign of love conquers evil, which is all the more visible. Yes, it's encouraging perseverance in mm. um, doing those things and even giving someone a smile. Um, perhaps people sometimes don't get out of the house very much and if they receive a smile, it, it's mm. like a it might make their day and make their week until they next um, come into the public. Yeah. You know, just a little gesture like that. That's and, sad, uh, though, isn't it, though? That it's, yes, just one smile is something that's... Yes, it, yeah. I, I forgot. But it's good. It, it's magnificent. <laughs> it's magnificent, it, but it, it's sad that that's... Yeah. It takes um, something like 14 muscles in your face to produce <laughs> a smile and 53 to produce a frown. Ah, so, so a smile is, is much easier. You may as well smile all the time. But, <laughs> yes, you might as well smile all the time, but it, it's just a little gesture. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so that makes can make a huge difference. Isn't that amazing? And also the littlest thing our lady said can cut basically cut through evil. You know, yes. the smallest sign of love conquers evil. Smallest yes. sign you know, that can change well, it. Just to th even think love. Yes, I was mm. in the in a pharmacy today yeah. and with a young man who 
needed a little bit of medication and um, he got talking with the lady who was giving that medication and she said, oh, I'm, I'm a Catholic but I don't go to church anymore. And he said something very nice to her and she responded to that. Mm. She, she didn't expect that he would say something nice uh, and I've forgotten yeah. exactly what he said but it, mm. it, it made her a little bit uh, happy, you know, yeah. there, there and then. Exactly, mm -hmm. just those little things that you just yes. don't know, it just, it just it can take away all the evil. So it's beautiful, that's how powerful even a small act of love is. Yes. It dissipates evil. Our Lady said, My children, listen to me so that good may overcome, so that you may come to know the love of my son. This is the greatest happiness, the hands of my son that embrace, of him who loves the soul, of him who has given himself for you and is always giving himself anew in the Eucharist. So he, this is the greatest happiness. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, mm. the, the, the great mystery of the mm. Eucharist. Jesus truly present mm. and he, uh, we consume him at Holy Communion and it's a great mystery. None yeah. of us understand that. But it's a, a beautiful mystery. Mm. We, we all feel a bit better when we've been to Mass. At least yeah. I do. I, it's the centre of my life. Yeah. It's the most wonderful thing we can do is to go to Mass. Yeah, it's beautiful. It is. It's holy and it's just... I remember when I had my accident and I couldn't go to Mass. It was just like because I had to stay in the hospital. I remember missing it so much, like just, because yes. I used to go every morning and it was really early in the morning we used to go. And yes. I just used to, I just missed it so much. It's like this, this holy sacred place, you know, that I wasn't able to go to for a while. Yes, so the, the early Christians, um, they, they were told by the Roman emperor, look, why not stop going to mass and then we don't have to kill you. And they said, well, we yeah. can't live without the Mass. We cannot live without the Mass. It was, yeah. That's what they said back to the Roman Emperor. That's beautiful. So it's... Mm. All right, we have to go to a break now. Thank you, Marilla. You're watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us. We'll be back with more very shortly. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Spirit of Life. I'm Marella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Father Peter Fuerd, a Catholic priest from Victoria, and we're discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's message from the 2nd of October 2018. Welcome back to the program, Father. Thank you, Marella. And we were just saying before the break, one of the one of part of Our Lady's message, and she said, This is the greatest happiness, the hands of my son that embrace of him who loves the soul, of him who has given himself for you, and is always giving himself anew in the Eucharist. And then she finished with, of him who has the words of eternal life. And then Our Lady said, to, him, to come to know his love, to follow in his footsteps, means to have a wealth of spirituality. So, I mean, of him who has eternal life and yes. this wealth of spirituality. Yes, the Amazing. beautiful words. Yeah. And, uh, Jesus suffered so much voluntarily this is it always mm. astounds me mm. the voluntariness of his passion that he underwent all these sufferings mm. both in his heart particularly in his heart they were more seems from what one of the mystics says that i've read about recently mm. louisa picaretta it seems that he suffered more um and he's from his heart that it hurt mm. hurt in the heart than these yeah. physical wounds because of the way people were indifferent or rejecting him mm. or hiding the truth, whatever it might be. Mm. So, yes, Jesus suffered. The lack of love, like to see the lack of love, like he came to yes. teach everybody love and then to see the lack of love yes. would pierce his heart all the time, wouldn't it? Yes, I, I can see, you know, Morella, where St. John, the gospel writer, said God is love because mm. he is pure love. Yeah. Everything Jesus said and did is a word or an act or a thought of love, yeah. you know, that, and you can see it in, in the way he interacts with people in the gospel. Mm. So he is a God of love. And mm. so people, once they get to know Jesus, 
uh, can have more confidence in him. And that's why it's mm. so important that people read the gospel, mm. that people come to church and listen to the words of the gospel. Mm. So they realize that there is a God who loves us so infinitely. Yeah. Yeah, it's important for us to tap into that too, to be aware that he is there. He is, he is here with us. Yes. Because we can't yes. see him. No. It doesn't mean he's not there, like he no. really is there. We have to, yeah. We continually make an act of faith, don't yeah, we? But he exactly. gives us that yeah. grace. He, yeah. We just have to desire to know him and yeah. desire to believe yeah. and ask him humbly for faith, mm. an increase of faith as we go through life. Mm. And, and love and, and hope and so forth. And he does give these things to us if, if we ask him and we desire that. Yeah. So he's a Beautiful. And then Our Lady said, This is the wealth which gives good feelings and sees love and goodness everywhere. Apostles of my love, my children, be like the rays of the sun, which the warmth of my son's love warm everyone around them that's beautiful too isn't it yes <laughs> she's asking yes. us to be like the rays of the sun that warm everyone around them to for us yes. to be like that to others yes, it's a lovely I, lovely way of writing it i think no matter who we are mm. no matter whether we're religious or, or not religious or don't believe or, or mm. very firm believers somewhere in all of our hearts we're given uh, Jesus's love somewhere, mm. and yes, yes, and we we need to yep. ask Him to bring it out in us, in our in ourselves personally, mm. so that we can uh, also show it to those around us. That we yeah. can love those are as difficult as that is at times, and yeah. we all find that difficult to yeah. be loving at times when we are rejected or when we're hurt. Yeah. Uh, but that's the great challenge of being a Christian: to yeah. love when we don't feel like it, yeah. and we need. The grace of God to do that. Mm. We, we don't have it in ourselves to be uh, loving like that in difficult situations. We need God's God's grace to do it. Yeah. And then Our Lady said, "My children, the world needs apostles of love. The world needs much prayer, but prayer spoken with the heart and the soul, and not only pronounced with the lips." So she wants us to, to really pray with the heart and the soul, yes. not just yes. just muttering words without feeling what we're saying. Yes, she wants us to have feeling. And when, when it says um, in the Gospel, you, we're meant to love the Lord our God with our whole heart, with our whole mm. mind, with our whole strength. Yeah. And that includes our emotions and yeah. every bit that makes up our humanness. Yeah. Um, we aim at that anyway. None of yeah. us succeed as well as yeah. we'd like to, but we aim at that to yeah. put our emotions into our prayer and think all the time, Jesus loves us. He died on the cross for us. Yeah. He suffered all that for us. He's been very good to us since yeah. since we've become aware of him. Yeah. So we need to return that love. And That's right. We went to a... Um, my daughter and I went to Cairns. We went away for two and a half months and we drove up there and then we stayed also at a retreat place oh, yes. in um, the Gold Coast called Marion Valley oh, and they yes. have Eucharistic adoration every day. And um, it was just so beautiful to be there and to be yes. participating in this, both of us, like really, and the people we met there and just not wanting to leave the adoration, neither one of us wanting to leave the <laughs> adoration room, just really believing you know, Jesus is really in the Eucharist and that he is with us. Yes. It was well, just so amazing. Beautiful feeling to yeah, have that. Yeah, just, and both of us experiencing it, it was just such a, um, a sen just a beautiful peace, yes. a serenity yeah. we had and a love we had from others around us. Just, just anywhere you go when you're in the Catholic Church, you know, wherever the Catholic Church is, you do still have, wherever the Eucharist is, you still have that sense of peace with the people around you. Yes. And because we are of one faith, you know, we, we all believe the same. And there's just such a sense of love everywhere we went, like on our travels, because it was like a pilgrimage, because we started off with my brother becoming a priest, seeing him being ordained. And oh, then we yes. just continued the drive <clears throat> and met other Catholic homeschool families as well and uh, Catholics all along the way and... And other people as well, as you know, health, health people at the raw vegan retreats and things like that. We met them as well, 
and we were able to, we said, why isn't Mary here or Jesus here? Because they had statues of other things. Yes. And um, they said, oh, you're going to have to bring it for us. Yes. So, yeah. Well, that's your big <laughs> so opportunity. So we'll have to do that. <laughs> big opportunity, yeah. Marilla. <laughs> so at least you're open to it. But anyway, we'll have to go to a break. We'll have to, I'll yes. get you to explain the next bit. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you, Marilla. You're watching Spirit of Life. I'm Marilla Rich, and we'll be back very shortly. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Spirit of Life. I'm Marella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Father Peter Ford, a Catholic priest from Victoria, and we're discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's message from the 2nd of October 2018. Welcome back to the program, Father. Thank you, Marella. And I will go on to what Our Lady said. She also said in her message, My children long for holiness, but in humility. In the humility which permits my son to do that which he desires through you. Just that line, I just love that line. It's just, it's like saying, be humble enough for God to work through you and just really, really let him work through you. Yes. Stop trying to control God, like in a way, like yes. let him work through you. Yes, that, that, mm. that's how I see it too, Morella, yeah. that um, humility is that beautiful virtue which we, we all work at, um, yeah. And uh, I see it in myself that I need to work harder and harder at it. Yeah, it's it's yeah, a virtue yeah. that God wants from us mm. um, in that we recognize our utter dependence on him. Yeah. And so that just as you said, that so, so he can work through us. You mm. know, if we are self-sufficient mm. and we sort of shut him out of our thoughts and words and actions. But so he wants us to be humble, not easy. It's mm. not easy because I see in myself that there's this an innate pride there mm. that we've inherited through the original sin, that there's, mm. a, there's a pride in us. Yeah. And uh, we, we battle against that too. Yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah, it's so important. I remember once when I was thinking, I was riding my bike and, and I just met the Focolare movement and they were saying Jesus is in everybody. And for me that was like a new lease on life because I'd never really thought of, I mean I grew up Catholic, but I never thought of Jesus actually living in the people, living in yes. each person, never thought of it in that concept. And I remember thinking one day I just stopped my push riding my bike and I thought I'm going to go to this stall, there was a stall there, they had jewellery or something. I thought, I'm not going to even buy the jewellery. I'm not even going to look at the jewellery. I'm going to just practice seeing Jesus and those people that are selling it just for the sake of it, you know. Oh, it's good. almost like a moment of madness, but a moment of humility too, because yes. I thought, they're going to think I'm mad if I do that. But yes. if I'm doing that with a sincere heart, that's the only reason I'm going to the stall. And I did that. And the man behind the stall didn't even say anything. I didn't say anything either. I was just doing it to see if Jesus was in here. I'm just looking. That's what I was doing. I was just looking to see if Jesus was here. And he actually stopped, picked up a ring and put it on my finger and just went like that. Oh. And I was like, wow. And I just got, I just, I couldn't, I just couldn't believe it. Mm. And I said, thank you. I must have talked after that. I said something like, oh, hang on, is that for me? <laughs> yes, keep it. And I just mm. went smiling because that wasn't, it was like Jesus doing that through him because that's, yes. that, I was really empty of myself in that moment. Yes. To, just to see Jesus. Yes. Oh, that's and a... then I could not stop smiling. I was just riding the rest of the way. I was thinking I'm going to get dirt in my teeth because I could not close my mouth. I was just smiling the whole way. Yes. Just, it was just that hum nice having that experience. moment. Yeah. But anyway, Our Lady also went on to say, My children, your prayers, your words, thoughts and actions, all of this either opens or closes the doors to the kingdom of heaven for you. Isn't that yes, beautiful? It is beautiful. Mm. Yes, and, and um, as I see it anyway, we, we've got to practice all these things. Just mm. just be very conscious of our words and our actions. Mm. And, and mm. when we have our thoughts that are against what we believe to be good for us, um, yeah. to invoke Jesus or Mary straight away and uh, so that we replace the Mm. thought that is against what we believe in to, with other thoughts. and it's, We've got to be so pure. It's beautiful. It's like, my children, your prayers, your words, your thoughts, 
prayers, words and thoughts and actions. All of this either <clears throat> opens or closes the door to the kingdom of heaven for you. Yes. There's no mucking around there. Yes. It's quite clear. <laughs> yes. Jesus says you're either for me or against me. So yeah. we, we've, got to, we've got to take a side, yeah. one side or other. Exactly. And then Our Lady said, My son showed you the way and gave you hope. <clears throat> and I am consoling and encouraging you because my children, I had come to know my pain, but I had faith and hope. So she's also, you know, was talking about how she experienced pain. But she had faith and hope through it. Yes, it'd be wonderful to mm. know a bit more about her life, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, She's she writing a book. Um, Vitska, one of the visionaries, is, is taking down documentation of her book. Apparently oh, that'll be available at some point. I'm not sure when. Oh, yes. Because uh, Mary, a lady, a blessed mother, was um, fully human like the rest of us. Yeah. And um, she would have had her temptation. Jesus was tempted, so she would have been tempted and trials and difficulties in her life, mm. especially those anxious moments like when uh, they threatened to kill Jesus, King Herod, and then mm. when he was 12, when Jesus stayed behind in the temple. She would have so suffered had... a lot. Like That would have been a lot of her pain too. Because she, uh, even in the poem of the man God, have you read the poem of the man God? I've only Primary read snippets of it, yeah. yes. Because I've read some, I haven't seen with me, I've only read a little bit of it, but I've just read this part and it was talking about Our, Lady, Our Lady's experience and it was just beautiful. Oh, just, yes. You just felt this, um, when I was reading, just like this gentle, almost like a gentle breeze, the way that yes. they wrote it, the way it was written about it. It was so beautiful. And then Our Lady said, Now I have the reward of life in the kingdom of my son. Therefore listen to me, have courage and do not grow weary. Thank you. So none of us to give up, just keep yes, trying, even though when it seems dark sometimes, you think, oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah. And it's, they're beautiful messages of encouragement. Our, our Lady continually encourages us. She, she's loving us all. In every message, There's mm. she is love as well. Jesus yeah. is love, but so is Mary. Yeah. And the, 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 you feel it come through all of these messages that yeah. she loves us. She's got that motherly, yeah. maternal love. And just, I love that line, not to grow weary, because sometimes you feel like saying, ah, oh, it's too hard. Like, yeah, that's right. You know, I'm trying and trying, and I don't feel like I'm getting through or something, you know. <laughs> yes, I mean? we all feel that way yeah. at times. And yeah. then just to say, the, even the word, have courage and do not grow weary. So, you know, sometimes you might need just to take a break. Like, it doesn't mean, mm. you know, just have a rest, just sit in adoration for a while, just give yourself a break. And have some prayer. To, prayer is a break, actually. Yes. <laughs> For me, good. prayer and adoration is a break. It's a beautiful time. <laughs> it is a beautiful. I feel happiest in front of the Blessed yeah. Sacrament. I, I'm... Thank you, Father, for coming on to the program. Thank you very much, Morella. It's been a blessing to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. And for us and the viewers, too. You've been watching Spirit of Life. I hope you enjoyed the program and we'll see you again soon. May God bless you all and keep you safe, healthy and happy.